70% of you guys watching and actually sub to the channel. It's completely free to do and it really, really helps me. So please make sure you hit that sub button, make sure you hit that notification bell. And don't forget, if you change your mind, you can unsubscribe at any time. Now, we've got quite a few things to talk about this week. We've got brand new games out. We've got a rumor for... A game that I'm not too sure what you guys are going to think about. We've got bonus free content and a load of other stuff as well. Um, we've also updated the members benefit so you guys can now get shout outs, you can get free games and also be in with a chance to get free PSN credit and a load of other stuff. Make sure you check it out, the new benefits are currently pending so they should be live later on today or towards the end of the week. Make sure you check them out. Now before we get into the video, first things first, if you guys are looking to renew your PlayStation Plus memberships, if you're looking for cheap PSN credit or just to get your pre-ordered games at a decent discounted price, make sure you check out the sponsor Instant Gaming. Everything on their site is usually like 20 to 30% off and it is definitely, definitely worth checking out to make your games even cheaper. But let's get into it. First up, The Drop. Yesterday, we didn't get to do the drop video. There's only one new game out this week that I think you guys are going to be interested in. And to be fair, it's a pretty awesome looking title as well. It's a game called Subnautica Below Zero. Now, 99% of you lot are going to have Subnautica, the original, already because it was actually free for everyone to claim. Subnautica Below Zero was PC exclusive for quite a long time and it kind of kept rolling out piece by piece. So if you had the game, you'd make certain progress and then the story had kind of stop and then there'd be an update where a bit more would be added, and then it was fully complete and it was just on PC for a long time. Now it's coming out to console, it's available this week. I personally haven't played it yet, but it's one that I'm really looking forward to playing. I love the original, the fact that it was just deep sea survival with a decent story, and the fact that it was actually a horror game, not a survival game. It just took a while to get to that point. I'm really interested to see how Below Zero plays. Obviously, I think it's set out differently. I don't think it's all underwater this time. I think it's actually on land. But either way, it's something that I'm really looking forward to checking out myself. On to the rumours. Now, the rumour is for a game that a lot of people are probably going to complain about because it's not a massive AAA title. It's not full of action. It's actually based off a board game. Yes, a board game. I'm not a fan of them myself, it takes a lot to kind of get me into it, usually it's friends mithering, but it's a game called Risk, it's very very tactical and and the whole map's set into like different colours, so you could be like green, blue, yellow, uh, whatever, and the whole aim of it is to take over the whole world by kind of attacking certain countries at a certain time, and once you've done a certain point you'll take over that country and your counters will be there, and the whole aim of it is to have a battle with your friends or you can play it online or you can even play it with AI, but against AI is pointless with board games to be honest. Um, but it, it's quite cool, I suppose. It's it's not one of the games that you can jump onto and play all the time, for me personally anyway, because board games bore me, it's, it's in the title. Uh, Risk is probably one of the better ones, but I'm curious to see what you think. Something like this going on PlayStation Plus, is it annoying or something that you'd actually be interested in checking out? For me personally, I already own it, but it's not something that I'd go to play anyway. But I'm sure some people out there would absolutely love it. Bonus content. Now, it's always nice to get something for free, whether or not it's through PlayStation Plus or through a different service. This one's actually through Twitch Prime. Now, don't worry if you don't have an active Twitch Prime membership. You can actually use the link down in the description to claim a 30-day free trial where you can claim this free stuff, as well as a load of other free content and free games as well. There's literally a massive list of free games that get updated every single month as well, so definitely check it out. But this week, we're going to check out some bonus content for Rocket Arena. Now, Rocket Arena was actually free on PlayStation plus not too long ago so this is one of those games that quite a lot of you guys are already going to own and it was kind of i can't remember whether it was a 3v3 or a 4v4 kind of battler where you kind of had to take over certain points and stuff it was a bit quirky by the fact that once you took your enemies out they kind of end up flying out in the air and it just say ko and you kind of had to be very tactical at the way that you played it it was all right just not going to be for everyone but there's actually two characters that you guys can claim right now the first one is as your blast beard the outfit um looks all right looks quite cool not something that i've claimed myself yet but i will be doing as you can see on screen and the second one is topaz mistine outfit so again if you're just after some cosmetics whether or not you play this game right now or not i suppose it doesn't really matter because if you claim it and you get it added if at any point you do decide to give the game a try at least you've got some free stuff sat there waiting for you and when it comes to cosmetics that are like limited time only it's really cool when you jump on the game in the future and like everyone's just like how did you get that outfit i've not seen it and you can kind of just tell them that you got it for free 
But moving on, what have I been doing this week? Now, you guys always ask on Twitter in the comments what games I've been playing. And I'll be honest, this week I've not really been playing anything. I was actually in hospital. I had an operation last week on Thursday and I've kind of been suffering the pain since. Struggling to get around and literally just lay down like a sack of potatoes binging Netflix. And that's kind of the way that my week's been. Um, I'm slowly getting better, which is why I've not done any videos over the weekend or anything. Um, kind of getting back on my feet, getting back into gaming and stuff. So yeah, there's a few things that I want to be playing this week though. I want to try out properly the arenas mode on Apex. I've had a quick look at it and it looks pretty cool. And I also want to play Pokemon Snap on the Switch. I know it's not PlayStation, but as I've said quite a few times, I've kind of played all platforms. But yeah, slowly getting better. Chocky milk, make the pain go away. So they say. Now, before we get on to my predictions, if you're curious about my setup, the links are down in the description. I always get asked what mic I use, like what setup PC that I use, software and all that lot. I don't use proper high range stuff. I tend to use mid range. It's not the most expensive stuff, but it works well. It does the job and it doesn't cost an absolute fortune. So again, if you're curious, links are down below. But on to my predictions. Two games that I'm gonna go for, two completely different style of games as well. First one going along the line of the fact of the rumour for Risk, another kind of board game, Monopoly. The stressful game, but at least playing it on a computer, you don't have that option to pick up the table and throw it across the room because it's that stressful. Instead, you can just dashboard and it it probably save where you're up to. So next time you want to jump on with your friends, you can kind of carry on from where you left off. Now, Monopoly, again, it's another one of them titles that... I wouldn't play all the time, it takes a lot to get me to play stuff like Monopoly just because I get really bored of board games. The fact of literally just sitting there looking at a board, pressing a button, rolling a dice and moving a piece. And when it's on a computer, to be honest, it does feel a little bit more boring than actually playing it in person. Not going to be for everyone, but again, just kind of going along with the theme. The second game that I'm going to go for, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now the reason that I'm going for Wildlands is obviously it's the older title when it comes in this series. It's pretty cool. I love the fact that it's a big open world that you can kind of just explore and there's loads of Easter eggs in it as well. Um, there's this big salt lake out there in the map that you can find. I don't know how much of it you have to play, but there's a random button that you press and then there's just like fireworks and explosions and stuff. A little bit random, but again, pretty cool to find if you've never seen it before. Loads of stuff like that in the game. One thing that I will say though, it is one of them titles that's a little bit annoying to play solo. Like when you need to take on a mission quite tactically and the AI teammates are kind of just doing the opposite of what you want, it gets really irritating. So you kind of do need a squad to actually play it or you have to run in like Rambo, which again, can be a little bit difficult at times, but it's a pretty cool game. Curious to see what you guys think. Out of my predictions, which would you prefer to see come to PlayStation Plus? And what are your predictions yourself? Now, when it comes to any games that I have mentioned today, if you're looking for people to play with, make sure you jump on the Discord. Pretty cool community, just an easy way to find new people to play with so you're not stuck playing solo. And when it comes to any other gaming news, anything that I don't make videos on, usually just gets shared over on my Twitter, so make sure you check that out. Again, in the members section, there's going to be quite a few new benefits. You would have seen at the start of the video like a little picture of the stuff that's pending. But just to kind of cover it, at standard VIP, you get VIP access. So when we do a stream, which we've not streamed in a while, but when it's like party games that come to PlayStation Plus and it's viewer play along, you get priority access to kind of play along. VIP area on stream, get your content out there. So if you remember, there's an actual playlist that comes up at the end of a video. And if you guys make videos yourself, your videos will appear there. We pick like one video per week or so to kind of go on there. And it just kind of helps you guys out. And any new members that we get, get a little shout out as well. With the VIP gold, you get a free monthly game. It's not guaranteed to be a PlayStation title. It's just I get a lot of free games sent to me to either test out or just sent out to me anyway with a few keys. So it might be a PC game, it might be a Switch, it might be an Xbox, or it could be a PlayStation. Not too sure, it just depends what I've got on hand. And once we reach a certain amount of VIP gold members, there will be like a monthly draw where one person will win some PSN credit. And finally, the VIP top dog gets all the kind of previous stuff, apart from the fact you get to add me on like social media and stuff as well. On my full personal account, so if you want to add me on Facebook, just to chat or whatever, it's just kind of a little extra thing for, for the ones out there that are curious about that stuff. But that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, a like it'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.